What's up, you guys? You guys, Chanel Nicole, and I'm back with another video. And before I get started, I do want to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, all my return subscribers. If you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that way you know every time that I upload. It has been a while since I have done an empties video. So I'll probably put the date down here. My last empties video, I didn't look at it. But, I'm so happy to see you guys, so happy to see you click on this video, so happy that you clicked on this video to see what my empties were. Now, I am currently working on a vlog, I don't know how you guys do it, like, you vloggers, I'm a vlogger too, I just need to figure out what works for me, and just, just build on that. What I do have for you guys is... An empties video. So I'm in the midst of clearing up my space, making everything look good, and put everything where they belong. Also getting rid of like products that are kind of old. And it's not a lot, that's why I haven't done a declutter video. Because I tried to and it really was just putting things where they belong. And I got rid of like four or five things. I know I'm supposed to bring you guys this updated tray back here. But I've been working more on my body mist. Maybe I'll come and do a video on the body mist that I've been working on, and yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys this stuff. Um, I hope all you guys are doing good. I know I've been doing okay. I've definitely been kind of getting back to um, centering myself, and with centering myself, I do need to sit down. It's hard. When I tell you I literally just watch YouTube and I'm not proud of that because I should be making video content. I should be part of the content that I'm putting out or that I'm taking in. I should be putting it out. But it's not easy and I've been trying to work on it. So in the meantime, you guys get this empties video. And hopefully I get my gears going and, and we, we get other things. So thank you for being here with me so far. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I have used. Also, if it's if it has white on it, it came out of the shower and like this first thing, for example. So don't judge me. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is the vanilla and rose love bath and body works. And this is the pillow mist. I definitely use this in the shower. I've had this in the shower for a really long time. I'm not really a big rose person, and it wasn't that much vanilla. It still was very much rose. So is this something that I would get again? No. Next thing that I have is Pastel Skies. Definitely use this up. I have more. I think I have, I have a few more. Maybe like one or two more. Not really sure, but I definitely love this scent. This is one of my favorite scents. Love the packaging. Almost didn't want to use it, but I'm definitely trying to get my collection down. Um, I have been buying one or two hygiene things, and that's about it. But yeah. So, I've definitely been using up more than what I've been bringing in. I should gather up like all my stuff that I've bought and do a haul on it. I'm not really sure. Working on it. But, next thing I'm going to show you guys is this spray. This is the Love DW Home Peony and Passion Fruit. I actually got this for Christmas like a few years ago. Just finished it. This was really, really nice. Um, DW Home. You can probably find this at TJ Maxx. Um, the one thing that I did like about this is that it has a constant, like, sprayer. You could kind of hear it. And that's one thing that I had, I liked. It was like a mister, and it's definitely lasted a while. It was six ounces. It was really cute in the bathroom. So, if I see this at, like, TJ Maxx Marshalls, I definitely would get this again. Even if it's not the same scent. I like the constant misting. Love it. Next thing, oh, I should definitely save up. I was kind of thinking of saving up. All the mist that I used. The next thing that I use is a mist. I think I'm gonna save up and do a, a video of all the mist that I've used. Okay, look at that. Video idea during a video. Who would have thought? Next thing I used up is the St. Eyes blemish, blemish Control Scrub. And there's this. I definitely know that my skin is looking a lot better. This, I did my makeup. Hopefully, it looks nice. I definitely took the time to sit down and do my makeup. The Watching the makeup tutorials has definitely been paying off. Only thing that I don't like is it's kind of light. I don't know. 
Uh, hopefully it doesn't look bad. But um, underneath this makeup, my skin has definitely been very vibrant, very radiant. I wash my face very often, um, especially because I work out a lot. Well, I work out, so I definitely make sure to wash my face after the gym so that way I don't have the sweat just sitting on my face. I wash my face in the shower, and then I do, like, my body care when I get out of the shower. So, like, my self-care. And it's not the same. I don't have the same regimen. Um, but I definitely use up my products, and this is something that I would buy again. I think I have, I want to say I have one more St. Ives product, but yeah, use that up. All right, next thing that I have is the Spellbinding Sweets, and this was something, I think, uh, I probably have one more of these. Definitely like this. If you see my nails, uh, hold on. All right, so the next one is Spellbinding Sweets. This was a hand soap. If you guys see any, like, dirt, it's not even dirt. It's literally makeup in my nails, and I have to go and scrub them. <sighs> Some, I don't is makeup literally in my makeup is makeup the thing i'm gonna show you guys is tropical island colada and here is that definitely burned pretty okay i'm at this point i'm just getting through my candles i'm not doing it i'm not doing it to review them i'm literally just using my candles enjoying them um also speaking of candles by the way did you guys anybody buy in the 12.95 sale I'm showing you guys my next one, but anybody purchase from the $12.95 sale, I, I have a gift card, and then I also have 25% off, but I'm also practicing not to buy when I'm feeling anxious, not to buy when I'm feeling kind of like uneasy about things, and that's definitely how I've been feeling lately, so, and then also trying not to buy, period, because I'm trying to use up what I have. Um, especially not to buy if it's not a necessity, even though I have a gift card, it doesn't make it okay for me so yeah let me know if you're going all in or if you're holding back for the candle sale the next thing that I have is black castor oil and it just came inside of this little tube I think I feel like this was 49 cents there was a time where in my area like I always tell you guys a lot of like black hair care products always goes on sale and I think look at that I can't even like set my makeup because I just got it on my finger anyways this went on sale for like 49 cents so I have like a bottle of oil and I'll just mix it and because I keep my hair in the twist I'll put it in there and it definitely does the trick I just do that put my stocking cap over it and then put my like to you know keep it down or I'll use my scarf and it definitely like soaks up the moisture so oil I mean black castle oil don't know if it's making my hair grow I've had my hair in these twists for a while but it moisturizes, so that's what I do. Scalp, in my scalp, and in my twist. All right, the next thing I use up is Flamingo Beach. And this, I'm not, it's pineapple, but it's, it's more of like a fragrant pop, uh, potpourri type pineapple. Not like, ooh, like that's like pineapple, like straight from the pineapple. Like you pour it out of the carton and it smells like a pineapple. It's not that. This was more floral. So if this ever came out again, I definitely would not get it again. It was more on the floral side than on the fruity side. Next one that I used up is gingham. Not really crazy about gingham. I feel like I used to have, like I used to go, like I like clean scents. I usually, especially like to work out with. But this isn't something that I like. I wear it to the gym, but it's not something that I wear to be like, look at me, smell me. Um, yeah. But I do like gingham. Would I buy it again in the room spray? Probably not. So, there's that. Um, I have, I use the Dove Gentle Exfoliating Exfoliant. So, there's that. I love soap. I have like a three-step process when I'm in the shower. So, I love, of course I love soap. But I'm saying like bar soap is my thing. So, Banana Cabana. This smells so good. Um, I'm terrible at like scents. But, um, they didn't really smell much of banana. I feel like if you want, like, like that banana bun cake, I think. Um, this doesn't give you, like, the floral, I mean, the banana, like, cake scent. So, I didn't really smell banana. It was just me. Next thing that I used is Sweet Strawberry Scoop. Definitely liked that. Um, I didn't use all of it. I'm probably going to stick this in the bathroom or in the, in the sink. And... 
I use this to make my dishwater. So. This is red velvet cupcake. This definitely smelled really, really good. It smelled amazing. I had this in the dining area. Absolutely love this. I think I got this on like a candle day. Um, would I get it again? Probably not. All right, so this is sweater weather. You guys know sweater weather. I love sweater weather. I think I probably even have another one of these. It smells amazing. It smells really good. Definitely gives me that fall vibe. Reminds me of my old apartment when I would light my candle in the living room and be cleaning my kitchen. It's just definitely a vibe for me. Sweater weather is something that is always, always going to be in my collection because it's just, it just gives me a happy vibe. So, love this. Definitely a throwback for me. Love this. Next thing that I have is pink lemonade. Absolutely love this candle. This smelled up the whole room into the outside, like the hallway and dining area. This was very, very strong. Smells so good, so potent. I would actually get this again because it smelled that good. Yes. Next thing that I have is Essentials Disinfect Disinfecting Wipes. And this was in Renewing Rain. I got this from Dollar Tree. Paid $1.25 for 80 wipes. So I'm definitely always wiping stuff down, cleaning stuff, especially because we have dogs. We have three dogs. So definitely always cleaning, definitely always um, using this to clean up surfaces. And it's just, it's really good. I use this in my office though. Um, when I saw these at Dollar Tree, I did grab five of them. I think we only have one more left. And if I ever see these again, I'm grabbing like probably all that they have because this is so so good it's like really moist and it, it definitely holds a lot of the cleaning chemical that's in here you open it and it just it still smells good like this is something that I would buy again I have a lot in here I need to hurry up next thing that I have is Oceanside Palm um, actually this one you guys remember when my candle fell so the next candle that I got was laundry day Hubby loves this nice clean scent. I actually like the packaging. I like how it goes like that darker blue and it ombres up to the top. Oh! Yeah, when my candle fell face planted on the floor, I actually had to put laundry day inside of this. And this was actually laundry day. Love laundry day. I'll get it again and again and again. Smells so good. The next thing that I use up is the cocoa butter healing jelly, Vaseline, dermatologist tested. This is something that's always going to be in my collection. Love Vaseline, especially with summertime coming around. It gives you like that glistening smell. Use Vaseline. Any smell is going to stick to you. Any perfume is going to stick to you. Vaseline is just something that's always in my... It's, it's, been, it's been with me since I was a child. Like, I'm always going to use Vaseline. So there's that. This is the Mask Bar Cranberry Cream Mask. Um, I did say that I wanted to use more masks. There is one. Um, I definitely need to do more masks like in my whole routine. This is Land of Snow. This sooted so bad. So bad. Um, it definitely does smell good. I love the packaging. Would I get it again? Even though it's sooted? Yes. This next thing is pears. So there's pears. And it's pears transparent, pure and gentle with mint extracts. This smells so good. If you have Dollar Tree, run, everybody has Dollar Tree. Run to Dollar Tree and get this, because this smells super good. It works super good. It keeps your body. This is a really good. For $1.25, this is good. Like, this is something that if I see it and I'm running low on my bars of soap, I will pick it up. Right now, my little soap drawer is jam-packed with soap, and I don't need it right now. But this is something, like, I wanted to try it, and I did, and I love it. Um, The Perfect Autumn, you guys already know. If you guys don't know, I love fall. Perfect Autumn is like a staple for my fall scents. It smells so good. I think I have a few candles of this. Super good. Um, Sprinkled birthday cake. This is what it looks like. I actually wanted to use it for like decor for my room. But I'm kind of going with more of like a green scent. As you can see with the little green that I have up there. I mean that green color, not green scent. Dang, I'm going to have to cut this open because there's some in here. I can use this to exfoliate the stuff on my fingers. This is in the Stars Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. I had used it out and then it all compiled up into this side. So I'm definitely going to use it. I love in the stars. I've told you guys before, to me it smells like Baccarat Rouge. Um, 540. 
I did not go and buy the the new rouge. I was actually probably gonna get it today, but it was sold out. And I'm just gonna bring up my In the Stars body mist because to me, it's it's a cousin. It's a really close cousin. So I think it smells good. Speaking of which, In the Stars in the Wallflower. Um, I think I got this for free. Oh my gosh, my fingers look so bad. Excuse me. Whew. I got it for free, but um, I don't really buy wallflowers anymore. I remember when it was like $2.50 or $2.95 and I worked it, I would stack up on them without a coupon. Like, girl, bye. Um, this one was the Dove Sugar Cookie. When I think of sugar cookie, I think of the sugar cookies that I can't have in my house because I will devour them things. That's the sugar cookie that I want to smell. The doughy, the, the really nice, soft... Like, I'm going to keep these for my husband because I want the last three, which I don't keep food for my husband. We share. But you know what I'm saying? Like, this didn't give me that smell. They tried to do it with, this, with the soft smell, but it wasn't doing it for me. Um, I did get this on sale, I think. I think it was like 50% off. No, I went looking for it, bought it, and I wasn't crazy about it. So, would I get this again? No. Sleigh Rides and Snuggles, you guys know this is my baby. Like, I love Sleigh Rides and Snuggles. It smells so good. It's amazing. It's something you could dress up and make it extra sweet, or you could dress it down and you can make it more like a unisex type scent. I definitely love this scent. This is something that I'm working on right now. I actually have it in the front. Um, so, I've been working more on my body mist than my perfumes. I definitely feel like I wanted to, like, be one of those girlies that buys all the $300 perfumes and the $250 perfumes and the $100 perfumes and I'm just going back to what I remember and what made me happy in high school I didn't buy myself those type of perfumes I definitely don't want to forget that I have these here right now so I I'm, I'm enjoying what I have that's it this is sweet sandalwood this smells really good it still has some on the bottom I'm gonna definitely use this probably to make like some soap water like some cleaning water so, forgot about that. All right. So, Ksenia. I don't know her channel. Forgot her name. But Ksenia. She said that Amber and Saffron smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, this went on sale. I want to say it was for $6 or $4. And I bought it and burned it down to the bottom. This burns better than any Bath & Body Works candle. This was like normally $12.87. But I will go and I will buy this candle again. It burns all the way down. I'm gonna definitely clean out the inside. Probably use it for like decoration, maybe around like Christmas time. Um, I'll probably use it for decoration because red isn't really my color, but for Christmas, sure, why not? So definitely gonna clean this off and repackage it. I have one more or repurpose it. I have one more and this smells so good. Smells up a whole room into the hallway and I love it. So. When I'm done, I feel like they've repackaged it. I'm definitely going to have to go look. But this is something that I will buy before I go running to a Bath & Body Works sale. Because it smells so good. It is... It's bigger than a Bath & Body Works candle. I could put that in here and still have room to switch it around. So, definitely love this. I do have two of the Airwake room fresheners. I use one in the bathroom, one in Hubby's office. So, this is something that I will buy again. I think I have bought like a pack of six for like $3.88. So, loved it. Um, this is white t-shirt. Love white t-shirt. Smells so good. Um, I'm almost out. I'm not almost out, but I'm, I'm dwindling down on my body mist. I will buy that again. This is Falling Flurries. Love the smell. And I enjoyed it. It's not something that's like, oh my gosh, I gotta go get it now. But I did enjoy this. All right, this is cinnamon pumpkin pie. I'm actually using this in the bathroom right now. And it is good. But it's not running to your mom, your sister, your cousin, your auntie. So, my memory card was full. This was the last thing that I was showing you guys. I think it was the Dove Holiday Treat Cinnamon Pumpkin. Cinnamon pumpkin pie. Um, all these companies that are coming out with like all these food scents. Oh, mm -mm. no, not for me. White t-shirt, this, I probably could actually cut this open. I don't know why it's in here if I didn't cut it open. Uh -uh, still smells good, I don't know, okay. So next empty is white t-shirt. I think I could have cut it open, I just didn't want to. I might, 
I might end up cutting this open. Because I actually like the smell. I don't know why it was in here just to be in here. But we're going to count it as an empty. I'm going to use the last bit of it today. The next thing that I finished is Caffeine and Castor Premium Hair Oil. Um, it fell on the floor and it has a little bit of dog hairs on it. Don't mind it. This is where they chill at sometimes. But yeah, use that. This was $5.99. At this point, I think I was just buying stuff to see, like, to, to just moisturize my hair. Um, obviously, you know, if you try something long enough, like, you have to try it long enough to see if it works. So, don't know if I would repurpose it. I need to focus on sticking to one product and seeing what it does for my hair. So, I have one. Ooh, okay. So, I have three more wallflowers. This one's probably in the kitchen. Don't know what it is. And then these two was in my office and in hubby's office. No, these two were in my bathroom and in hubby's office. Next thing is Mary Maple Pancakes. This is actually one of my favorites. It does smell really good. I have a backup. Just don't like how it burned. They played me. Played me. It was burning all types of messed up. And I had to get my burn. Like, I had to. Um, I love the packaging. Love how it looks. I have one more and I don't want to burn it. That's something that I'm actually going to keep. <sighs> Not going to burn it. It smells so good. Next thing is Marshmallow Musk. If this one ever comes out in a scent, like in a candle and another room spray, I'm getting it. It smells that good. I got it last year around this time. Oh my gosh, so I think I used them all up. <laughs> it's done. It's done. It's done. Really good, love it. Blow Pop and the Sugar Spur Green Apple Scented. This smells more, it didn't smell like a candy scent. It smelled more of like a chemically enhanced green apple is what it smelled like. It was $3. Would I get it again? I did get it again in the blue raspberry one. I wouldn't get it again after that. Next thing that I have is Blue Bungalow. There's that. It's like a fresh scent, I think. Slain Palm Salt Breezy, yup. Sweet Grapefruit and Golden Rat Rattan Cane. Definitely was a clean scent. Wasn't crazy about it. Um, This is Marshmallow Fireside. There we go. Love that scent. Absolutely love it. On the cosmetic end, I did finish this Power Glass Plumping Lip Gloss. So, I have another one already. This was like probably like 20 something dollars. I love it. Love the consistency of it. Um, the comic look of it. Love that too. This is something that's really good and I probably would buy it again. This is Softy Hydrating Olive Oil. You can get these at Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty Five. Smells really good. And it does, it's actually Daily Moisture Hair Body Body and Scalp Oil. I'm going to have to put this on my body, see what's up. So I have a bunch more under my sink. This one is Patrick Ta. I would never spend $30 to get on an eyeliner. It's nice, but no. So my favorite night balm. This is something that's always going to be like, if it goes on sale for like $2.90 something again, I will get it. As of right now, I'm trying to get a lot out of my collection. I actually really want the Ola Hendrix. Um... I might, I might just curve a little bit because I have some, I have some things that I want to try. Um, I have to see because you know it's 21 Days of Beauty or the semi-annual beauty sale, some deal, I don't know. It's something. So I definitely do want to get something. Oh my gosh. That's a toxic, that's a toxicity in me. Last thing I got is this Vitamin C Vitality face mask so I told you guys and it's dirty it's ugly don't mind it I told you guys I was trying to use up my face mask and I did so um but that's probably the only two that I've used this year that's everything that I have for my empties video I think I got through a lot of stuff definitely gonna go ahead throw all this stuff out start anew and I definitely am going to do the body mist that I've used up maybe I'll do it for like the year comment down below let me know if I should do it for like the year or like quarterly or whatever have you. So let me know what you think. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.